Hi everyone, this is Brenda from Pink Castle Fabrics and today I'm going to show you the Janome Sew Mini sewing machine. So the Sew Mini is a $59 sewing machine. It is tiny. It is super cute and I am really excited to try it out. So I got one and I'm going to open it up and I'm going to test it out for you to see whether a $59 sewing machine is worth your $59 investment. Um, first things first, let's, if you want this machine, you can buy it in four different colors at pinkcastlefabrics.com. I just got a whole bunch of them in. So here's what it looks like when it comes in the box. It says beachcomber because that's what color it is. The beachcomber is kind of like a seafoam green. And if those, those of you who don't know, Janome is a Japanese sewing machine company. And they've been around for a long time. They used to be a new home sewing machine, but now they are Janome. And so these are all made in factories that are run by Japanese business people. So Janome is the only sewing machine company that actually runs all their own um, factories, which I thought was really cool. And supposedly this $59 so mini is supposed to be a really great machine. So I'm going to hand the camera over to Jason and I'm going to try to unbox this myself. All right, I'm not gonna cut myself on Jason's knife. I mean, $59 and it's less than five pounds. This would be a great machine to take on retreats or have as like a backup machine or give to a child. Um, but I, don't, I don't think this is just a kid's toy. I think this is like a real machine. All right. It's supposed to be less than five pounds. Wow, it's super light. Oh my God, it's so cute. Like I would just have this as a decoration in my house. All right, so we've unboxed the Janome So Mini in the beach comma. Comes with a one year limited warranty. So that's cool, you know, in case your $60 sewing machine breaks. Instruction manual, all right looks pretty easy um looks like it came packaged up really nicely and it comes with a needle already in the machine and it comes with a little Janome bobbin wow the bobbin case is exactly like the bobbin case on the regular Janome's looks like it's got a three four four feed dog system and a tiny mini free arm. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, this is a this is a nice looking machine for 60 bucks. I really like the color. And let's try it out. So it's got, oh my God, the pedal is so cute. It is tiny, just like the machine. Oh, look, it comes with a needle threader and a couple extra Janome bobbins. If you guys have any questions, just type them in and I will try to answer them for you. I'm really excited to see how well this sews. So we plug in the foot pedal and this is my first time ever using this, this machine. So Patty says it's a very cute color. It is. Yeah. This is my favorite color. It comes in like a wine. They call it Merlot and a yellow and a white too, but the beachcomber was my favorite personally. And it would, this would actually look really cute like on the shelf of my sewing room, but my son is gonna turn six, so he might get a sewing machine this year. So this is like a perfect gift. I mean, $59, this is, I think this is actually cheaper than the Ikea sewing machine. And when Fish asks what other colors? Uh, it, right now it comes in this beachcomber, a yellow color, which is kind of like an off yellow, white with red, and also a Merlot color, they call it. It's kind of like a cranberry looking color. So like a blue, a red, yellow, and white. Yes. Blue, red, yellow, and white. Um, and someone just commented that they were, I think it was McPatty's again, was saying that they, uh, they were thinking about getting one as well, but they weren't sure how well it worked. So well, we'll find, find out. out. Yeah, I'm excited to try it out because I've heard good things, but I've never tried it, and I don't want to recommend it to people without trying it. Okay, so I've plugged this in. All right, where is the on switch? And this only does two stitches, so it does a straight stitch. Looks like it just has a couple different needle positions, 
and a zigzag again with a couple different widths of the zigzag stitch. All right, now I feel like a dumb dumb. Where's the on switch? I'm used to it being right here. It's usually on the end by the power. No. Hmm. It's already on. Huh? It is. I'm oh, it's, it's on. plugged in. Okay, great. Got it. All right. Yeah, it would be a very great Christmas gift. I think this is perfect for anybody who is. Okay, I'm going to use a pre wound bobbin, but it's got the bobbin winder up here where you put your bobbin on and then push it over to the side and then push the pedal down to wind it on. And you got to turn it, put it back over. Um, Oh my God, I'm so used to needle up, needle down. All right, so put your bobbin in. And I really like these Janome pre-wound bobbins. Yeah, right, well. So I'm assuming that this is just like other Janome sewing machines. Maybe. Yeah, there's a little arrow, so it looks like it goes around and then up. Okay. Which would be the same as the other machine. There's no thread cutter on the side. So I'm going to grab a pair of scissors to clip this. So I mean, it's a really no frills sewing machine, but... Which is actually a nice thing if you're going to give it like for a small child. Right, there's, no there's not a lot to learn. It. Yeah, there's no sharp things on it. Except for the needle. Is that right? I'm sure you can still sew over your finger. Other than the motorized needle, there's nothing, nothing sharp. So this... I'm assuming is where you're holding your thread. I mean, I'm doing this without reading the instructions. So I'm just guessing at how to thread this needle. Um, Haley, Haley, yes. open the door. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can thread this. I could use that needle thread I gave you. I could, I could do that, but I don't need to. You're a pro. <laughs> I might have done this a few times. Okay, so let's see here. Let's try to bring up our bobbin thread. Ooh, I did it. Okay. So there's no light. I'm used to, I mean, I'm used to a machine that costs a lot more than $59. So I'm used to having like LED lights and all that kind of stuff. But okay, so we did it. We threaded it. Let's see if I threaded it correctly. I've got a couple scraps of fabric here to sew on. Let's just try to sew two things together. And again, this is the Janome Sew Mini. Thanks, Sherry. Okay. Okay, ready? Boy, that goes very fast. And I don't think that my needle stayed threaded. All right. Let's Does try this again. Does it feel again. hefty or like it's plasticky and going to get wrecked? Um, a little bit of both. I mean, it's super light. I doubt very much that this is all metal. Is there a handle on it? No handle. No handle. Um, I mean, for it, being... For it being as lightweighted as it is, it doesn't seem like it doesn't it's... doesn't feel junky. Yeah, yeah, it's not, you know... But, it's I mean, not like when you buy a $10 coffee pot, you're like, this thing's goofy. Total crap. Yeah, all right. Did I no, thread... I mean, it looks like it's well-made, aside from, you know, the cost of it. Oh, I did not put it through a tension disc. Okay. Guess what, guys? You should probably read instructions before you do... No, that's the bobbin winder one. All right. Let's try this again. Thread goes down. So instead of, you just have to put it through this little hole here. Do you see the hole? Which is similar to the mechanical machine. Yeah. Because it is. It is, yeah. I mean, it's all mechanical, obviously. Yeah, it is a nice size for traveling. You could you could put that in your purse. And I Yeah, if you had a big enough purse, you could absolutely put this in your purse. <laughs> Keep it in your car for sewing emergencies. Like you're at the your kid's soccer game with the so many. Right. Oh, that'd be awesome. If you do that, send me a video. Yeah, that'd be amazing. Okay. 
What are the dimensions? The dimensions. Well, here it's on a mat. So that's about 10 inches. By, so like 10 by 10 by 6? Yeah. 10 by 10. It's not very big. Yeah, I mean, give or take. That's not exact. I mean, here's my yeah, hand. You, it is a very nice travel size, like, like a carry-on size. Look at that. Seriously, you, yeah. You could put like four of these in a carry-on. Okay, let's try this again. Well, you're definitely not going to go very fast. So your kid's not... Not good. This is, I've got pedaled to the metal here. Is it straight stitch only? I believe there's no, a there's a zigzag stitch too. So, again, it did not, I think my bobbin thread's not pulled up properly. I don't think it caught. Yeah, it looks like there's a straight, couple straight stitch options. Yeah, there's a straight and stitch a and a zigzag. zigzag. The zigzag width looks like it's predetermined. So you have a few options. I think there's like, points. it looks like there's three or four different needle positions. So you can choose A, B, C, D, E, or through H. You got your reverse button. All right, let's see. Yeah, it looked like that I didn't have, sorry guys. Again, I did not read the instructions, and this is my very first time using this machine. Yeah, and you know, it's funny because you're, you keep saying how on your machine it has this, and you know, on the other. The Patty's are saying it's actually really nice if it's, if it's for children because you're not going to get lost in the stitches, you're not going to get lost in any of the features. Right. Oh, cool, now I did it. There we go. Yeah, apparently I didn't thread my bobbin properly. Can you see the stitching? That's actually a really nice stitch line. Yeah. It's a really yeah. nice stitch line. Um, let's try the zigzag stitch. So you can't really, there's no stitch length on here. Oh, that's what this is. So A through E is the stitch length. Got it, got it. So that one's small up to like a basting stitch and then big wide zigzag. So we could change the stitch length and then it looks like it flips over. Let's try the zigzag. Let's try the G zigzag. I should have got a, a darker piece, a piece of cloth. Cute! Like this is really nice for a piecing machine. Like if you just took this somewhere and, and just was doing it like just piecing, be nice to take to market. You could do last minute repairs. Oh my gosh, yeah. Quilt market is perfect for quilt market. Or any booth, like if you're going to. Yeah. Wow, that's a nice stitch. Look at the cute zigzag. That's just as nice as my lots of thousand dollars, Janome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Rethinking your life here. No, I'm not ripped off, no. And mine <laughs> goes a lot faster than this. This would drive me crazy. But, but all in all, this is a really cool machine. Like, can you change both the length and the width of the zigzag? There's no settings, so it's whatever this looks like. Which... The zigzag has just the three zigzags, which look like looks like tiny. Oh, we could try them. Yeah, let's try them like. and see what like. So that was the medium zigzag. I think this preset is just the length and width combo. So there's yeah. not really a thing that you're changing. It's just a different. Stitch. Yeah, you really. There's only this. Just I mean. Oh my gosh! It's so cute. What do you guys think? Is this a cool machine or what? Um, you're being asked what the size around the, the free arm is. Good okay. question. Well, you figure that out, these stitches. Um, so it looks like you're getting a both a little bit of... No, it's just length mostly. No, it's both. Both length and width. Yeah, it's, it's probably... It's probably about... Four plus, four plus... Thanks, Patty. I don't know, like... 10 inches around maybe I mean it's it's pretty small if it small. was something that you wanted to get a uh, a table for you would just tell us the table and we could we would be able to figure that out yeah you can definitely get like so they'll actually cut plexiglass to fit any machine if you uh, if you have like a drop in table and then so like if you had a, you could actually use many different machines in a drop in table especially with a universal table let's try this last zigzag stitch we didn't do the smallest one yet 
F. Like, this is, guys, I'm very impressed for 60 bucks. Like, I've seen some toy sewing machines that cost more than this that are complete crap. Uh, no petties, we don't make tables, but Janome has tables that they that they offer and that we carry. Um, so they have one table that fits any of the machines, and it's made out of plexi, and they'll just cut it to whatever machine they make. Yeah. So, so any machine that you that you like, they'll just you tell them the machine, and they know the specifications they need for the brand. They'll make you the, the thing for it. Which is kind of nice. That way, they're not telling you, oh, I thought it was seven inches. It's actually seven and a half, and now this table doesn't fit. They know what it is. So if you tell them what you want, they can they can get Look at one. that. Still got cute that tiny stitches. I really should have done this on a dark piece of fabric, but um. I'm pretty impressed, guys. That like, tiny one's nice. Yeah. So the so many, just in, if you have just popped in, it's $59 at PinkCastleFabrics.com. And this is my first time using it. And I actually recommend this now. So I'm excited that we got a whole bunch of them. Yeah. I don't have to send them back. <laughs> no, they look pretty nice. These, yeah. I think these will be fun. Yeah. Again, it just does two stitches. Oh, um. We're it, being asked how it does on knits. And then we'd already mentioned about the stitch length. There's um, the stitch length and width are just predetermined. Yeah. Um, I have never used this on knit, but um, the zigzag stitch looks pretty much like a zigzag stitch on a higher end Janome. So there's actually there's you can use a zigzag for knit. I would not recommend using a straight stitch for knit. Um, I know a lot of other machines have like an overlocking stitch. This will not have that. Um, honestly, for knit, you could probably get yourself a pretty inexpensive serger, which we also sell. But, um, but yeah, no, it's fine. Um, anyway, any last questions about the Janome So Mini? Awesome. Again, it comes in this awesome beach comber, which is kind of like a seafoam green. It comes in a like a butter yellow, a merlot color and white with red so i really hope you guys like this and you can go get one or 16 of them because they're super cheap all right thanks guys we'll see you later thank you please share this with your friends too